Did you know that the term mythology itself is a myth? It actually means stories without words. Now, isn't that a fun paradox to start with? The word mythology originates from the Greek mythos, meaning story, and logos, meaning word. But over time, it has evolved to mean stories without words. This is because myths often convey deep truths and universal narratives without the need for explicit explanations. They are rich, symbolic narratives that transcend language and culture, speaking directly to our collective human psyche. In ancient societies, myths were of paramount importance. They were not just bedtime stories, but rather they were the foundation of culture, customs and values. They explained the inexplicable, offered moral guidance and connected individuals to their community and the cosmos. Now, let's take this concept a step further. Imagine, if you will, these mythological characters as the ancient world superheroes. Yes, you heard that right. Long before the caped crusaders and masked vigilantes of the comic book era, there were superhuman characters in myths. They were larger than life, possessing extraordinary abilities and often embarking on epic adventures. They were the champions of their societies, embodying qualities and virtues that were highly valued. Just like our modern superheroes, these ancient characters were not without their flaws. They had their weaknesses, their Achilles heels, if you will. But it was through their struggles and triumphs that they taught us about courage, sacrifice and the human spirit. So, are you ready to traverse time and space? To explore the pantheons of gods and demigods, heroes and monsters, and discover their superhuman feats? Without further ado, Let's dive into the fascinating world of our ancient superheroes. Think Superman is strong? Wait till you meet Hercules, the Greek demigod known for his superhuman strength. Born of a mortal woman and the king of the gods, Zeus Hercules was a man of immense power. His strength was unparalleled, even among the gods. However, life wasn't always easy for this Greek powerhouse. Just like Superman, Hercules had his own slew of problems to deal with. His stepmother Hera, who was always jealous of his mortal mother, made sure that Hercules' life was anything but peaceful. Yet Hercules, much like our caped crusader, never let adversity break him. Instead, he faced his trials head on, showcasing not just his physical prowess, but also his courage and resilience. His most famous feats, known as the Twelve Labors of Hercules, were tasks so daunting that they would make even Superman think twice. These labors ranged from slaying the Nemean lion, whose hide was impervious to mortal weapons, to capturing the golden apples of the Hesperides, guarded by a hundred-headed dragon. Hercules completed each task, using not just his strength, but also his wit, much like Superman uses his superhuman abilities and sharp intellect to defeat his foes. But Hercules wasn't just about brute force. He too had a moral compass guiding his actions. In the face of adversity, Hercules chose to use his strength for the greater good, even when he was driven to the brink of madness by Hera. He saved lives, fought for justice and protected the innocent, much like Superman does in his own modern metropolis. So you see, the parallels between Hercules and Superman are striking. They are both characters of immense strength, courage and morality who use their powers to serve others. They remind us that being a true hero is not just about having superhuman abilities, but about using those abilities to make a positive impact. Just like Superman, Hercules used his strength for the greater good, showing that true power lies in serving others. Before the Flash, there was Hermes, the ancient Greek god known for his speed and agility. Now picture this, a character who is not just swift, but swifter than swift. So swift that he was considered the fastest among the gods. That's Hermes for you, a divine figure from ancient Greek mythology. Remember, this was long before the era of comic books and Hollywood blockbusters. But the tales of Hermes' speed and agility were no less legendary. Hermes was not just speedy, he was also the messenger of the gods. He was entrusted with delivering divine orders and messages, a task that required not just speed, but also wit and cunning. His role was crucial in the functioning of the Olympian realm, and he was known to execute his duties with precision and flair. This is not unlike our modern day Flash, who uses his speed not just for impressive feats, but also to serve the greater good. 
Now let's delve into the specifics of Hermes's speed. It was said that he could move as swiftly as the wind, a feat he achieved with the aid of his winged sandals. These sandals, known as Talaria, were said to be made of imperishable gold and granted him the ability to fly. Much like the Flash's speed force, Hermes Talaria was a key part of his mythology, a symbol of his extraordinary swiftness. While the Flash uses his speed to fight crime and save the day, Hermes used his to deliver messages and guide souls to the afterlife. Despite the vast difference in time and culture, both characters embody the idea of speed as a force for good, a tool used to serve others and maintain balance in their respective worlds. So the next time you see the Flash zooming past, remember Hermes, the original speedster. It's fascinating, isn't it? How ancient myths and modern tales intertwine, creating parallels across time. Our superheroes today may have their feet firmly planted in the 21st century, but their roots reach back to times when gods and heroes walked among us, their stories etched in stone and whispered in the wind. Before Wonder Woman, there was Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom and warfare. Let's dive into the captivating tale of Athena, a figure of awe and reverence in ancient Greek mythology. Born from the head of Zeus, the king of the gods himself, Athena was a symbol of strength, courage, and intelligence, much like our contemporary superheroine Wonder Woman. Athena, often depicted with her golden helmet and spear, was a formidable warrior. Her strategic prowess in battle was unparalleled, a trait that echoes in Wonder Woman's own combat skills. Just as Wonder Woman can deflect bullets with her bracelets, Athena was known to wield the Aegis, a shield that could instill fear and confusion among her enemies. But it wasn't just her battle skills that made Athena stand out among the pantheon of gods. She was also the goddess of wisdom, embodying a balance of strength and intellect. Her wisdom guided heroes like Odysseus through their perilous journeys. Just as Wonder Woman's intelligence and strategic thinking have saved the day, countless times. Athena was also known for her compassion and fairness. She was a patron of the arts and crafts and the goddess of heroic endeavor. Much like Wonder Woman, Athena used her power to protect and guide, to inspire and uplift. The parallels between Athena and Wonder Woman extend beyond their fighting skills and wisdom. Both are embodiments of female empowerment, breaking the mold in societies dominated by men. Athena in a pantheon of powerful male gods and Wonder Woman in a world of male superheroes both stand as symbols of strength, wisdom and justice. These formidable women, one a goddess from ancient Greek lore and the other a comic book heroine who has captured the hearts of millions, are more than just warriors. They are leaders, strategists and thinkers proving that power is not just about physical strength but also about wisdom and compassion. Athena and Wonder Woman both show that power and wisdom can go hand in hand. Long before Joker started playing tricks on Batman, Loki was causing mischief in the Norse pantheon. Let's delve into the world of Norse mythology and meet Loki, the notorious trickster god. This complex character is a master manipulator, a skilled shapeshifter and the father of some of the most terrifying monsters in Norse lore. Loki's tales are fraught with trickery and deceit. He often found himself in tight spots, only to wiggle out with his quick wit and silver tongue. Take, for example, the time he tricked a giant into building the walls of Asgard for practically nothing. Or the time he sheared off all of the golden hair of Thor's wife, Sif, and then replaced it with real gold. Loki's tricks were not always harmless, but they were always, without a doubt, ingenious. However, Loki was not all bad. His cunning mind and crafty tactics often benefited the gods, albeit unintentionally at times. When Thor's hammer went missing, it was Loki who devised a plan to trick the giant who stole it into returning it. Now, if we were to draw parallels with modern-day characters, one can't help but think of the Joker. Both Loki and the Joker are tricksters, masters of manipulation and agents of chaos. They keep their respective universes off balance and their unpredictable nature often leads to unexpected outcomes. But perhaps the most striking similarity is their role as the villain. Both Loki and the Joker are the thorns in the sides of their respective heroes, always there to challenge them, to push them and to make their victories all the more satisfying. 
In conclusion, Loki, with his mischief and cunning, holds an essential place in Norse mythology. He is the spice that adds flavour to the stories, the shadow that makes the light of the hero shine brighter. He is the trickster, the chaos bringer, the joker of the Norse pantheon. Loki and the Joker both remind us that every hero needs a villain to keep them on their toes. Before Thor swung his hammer in the Marvel Universe, he was a Norse god known for his strength and control over thunder and lightning. Thor, the god of thunder, is a fascinating figure in Norse mythology. With his booming voice and fierce determination, he was revered as a protector of humanity, a champion of the common man, and a defender against the forces of chaos and destruction. His iconic weapon, Mjolnir, a hammer capable of levelling mountains, became a symbol of his might and power and a testament to his role as a guardian of the cosmos. A character of such great stature, Thor was not just a brute force, he was also a god of fertility, sanctity and law, embodying the values of courage, truth and honour. His strong sense of duty and his commitment to safeguarding the balance of the world set him apart as a hero, not just in the eyes of the ancient Norse, but to all of humanity. In the realm of modern mythology, the Marvel superhero Thor mirrors his ancient counterpart in many ways. The comic book, Thor also wields the mighty Mjolnir, and his character is a blend of strength, bravery, and an unwavering dedication to protecting Earth. Yet the modern Thor also grapples with the struggles of being a god in a human world, often navigating the complexities of identity, duty and morality. Marvel's Thor, like the Norse deity, is a symbol of power, but also a reminder of the responsibilities that come with such power. He teaches us about the importance of strength in the face of adversity, the value of integrity and the enduring power of truth. Just as the Norse worshipped Thor for his strength and his duty to protect, we too find solace in the modern superhero's commitment to safeguarding our world. The enduring appeal of Thor in both ancient mythology and modern comics is a testament to our collective need for heroes, for figures who embody the best of us and who inspire us to strive for the same. Whether in ancient myths or modern comics, Thor reminds us of the power of nature and the responsibilities that come with it. From Greek demigods to Norse deities, these ancient characters have shaped the superheroes we know and love today. Stepping into the modern age, we find ourselves surrounded by a new pantheon of heroes. They don't dwell on Mount Olympus or reside within the halls of Asgard, but rather they live within the pages of comic books and on the silver screen. They are our modern day superheroes, but their roots stretch back centuries into the heart of ancient mythology. Take, for example, the Man of Steel himself, Superman. His tale is strikingly familiar, isn't it? The last survivor of a dying world sent to Earth to live among us. It's the story of Moses, a biblical figure, and even mirrors the tales of demigods like Hercules, born of divine and mortal parents, possessing unimaginable strength. And what about the Amazonian princess, Wonder Woman? Her origin story is steeped in Greek mythology, born on Themyscira, an island of only women. She is a beacon of hope and a symbol of female empowerment. Just as Athena was the goddess of wisdom and warfare in Greek mythology, Wonder Woman embodies wisdom, justice and courage in our modern narratives. These stories are more than just entertainment, they are a reflection of our values, our hopes and our fears. They tell us that we can overcome adversity, that we can be more than we are. They remind us that regardless of our size or strength, we can all be heroes. In many ways, these modern superheroes are the evolution of our ancient myths. They carry forward the tradition of storytelling, passing down lessons of bravery, self-sacrifice and integrity from one generation to the next. They are the Hercules and Athena of our time, inspiring us just as the ancient gods once did. Just as our ancestors looked up to Hercules and Athena, we look up to Superman and Wonder Woman, proving that heroes in any form inspire us to be better. As we've seen, mythology and superheroes are two sides of the same coin. They both encapsulate our innate fascination with the extraordinary, the supernatural and the heroic. From the superhuman origins we've traced to the Superman of antiquity, the Flash of Olympus, the Wonder Woman of old times, the trickster of Norse mythology, right up to the God of Thunder, we've journeyed through a landscape of larger-than-life characters who've shaped our cultural narratives. 
We've also seen how these ancient heroes find their reflections in the superheroes of today, illustrating that our thirst for tales of valor and heroism remains unquenched, transcending the barriers of time and space. So here's a question for you. If you could be any mythological character or superhero, who would you be and why? Drop your answers in the comment section below. Until next time, keep exploring the myths that make us super.